from the site that many call the loudest in the NFL. We are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the New Orleans Saints and the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. to lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That goes for a gain of 31. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Now here's Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Back-to-back -back plays of right around 30 yards, and the field position has totally been flipped. Operating from the red zone now, the Holmes. hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Extra point by Becker is on target. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. 
The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Jameis now on first down. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. Touchdown, New Orleans. A big play there. 48 yards. And the Saints have moved out in front. Brandon, they just got the ball, and already they're in the end zone, and you're getting ready to talk about the PAT. That was fast. Dennis Allen going to go for two here. He's leaving his offense out on the field. Winston to throw for it. And they're going to get the two-point conversion. This one's caught. And it stretches their lead up to eight. And, of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. Felt pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver. Ball's put on him. Two points for them. Taking it about the one. And they'll get him down inside the 30 to 27. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy, ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline. Oh, he's trying for Smith-Schuster, but it's intercepted. Isaac Yadam picks it. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. To throw is Winston. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. Down inside the 10. Touchdown, Saints. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. And now a two-point conversion attempt forthcoming. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This will be fielded inside to five. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Chiefs. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. 
Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They run from the shotgun with Washington. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46. Staying on the ground with Washington. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. They'll try to throw now. Winston. Washington's got it. And some space here. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 22 yards there, a first down. That turns into a very well orchestrated play right there. Gonna work his way out of the backfield to the right, and after he looked it in, he found plenty of space to roam and picked up big yardage. The Saints gonna call the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Hey. Winston now to throw on first down. And a dangerous throw there from the drop off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Winston now. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. So now after the sack, Winston and the Saints needing to figure out what to do. Tough play, third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He completes it to Alave. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. They'll run. It's Washington. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. The Holmes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not much there at all as he'll get this only up to about the 11. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. There they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll be taken down at the 18. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. And that is incomplete. These two offenses have gone up and down the field so far in the first half. Finally, finally, I say, here's a stop on third down. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And some room to work. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. On first down, Mahomes. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. 
And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the 5. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. Mahomes going to throw. Diving for the end zone, and the ball's knocked out. And he will take it on in for the Chiefs touchdown. And this feels like something we'd see more commonly, CD, in a college game. They give it to the receiver down here in the red zone, but it winds up successful. Yeah, Park, I think you think it's less likely to find running space to the edge down here close to the end zone where things are so condensed. But a lot of times you end up focusing on the running backs and they're able to slip it to the receiver and it resulted in a touchdown. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. Mahomes will throw for it. Goes right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game and it works out. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. On first and 10, Winston. A quick throw, knocked away, it's incomplete. Textbook coverage right there, played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. On second and 10, Winston. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. Touchdown, New Orleans. Jameis Winston with his fourth touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Saints have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement-long touchdown. They'll look to throw. And they're going to get the two-point conversion. This one's caught. And it stretches their lead up to eight. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that is incomplete. Well, no kneeling for them. They decided they weren't going to run out the clock. They decided to take their shot downfield, hoping to either make a connection or a pass interference call. They wanted more points to put on the board. All right. 
Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Paulson Adebo. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well. And that's caught inside the 35. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. That's a tough combination to defend. You know Patrick Mahomes has the big arm, and he's got the elusiveness and the speed. So even though you force him from the pocket, he's still dangerous. Bad idea, in my opinion, to force him from the pocket. Do everything possible to hem him in and make him make the throws from right there in the center of it. And look, we know he's got the big arm. You just noted that. But when he gets outside, it puts so much stress on your defense, trying to locate where receivers are, make sure you're covering them. And he can throw the ball the length of the field. So you just tell a receiver, just keep going. He'll find it. And he did there. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. George Karloftis, the man to bring him down. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Right back to Washington. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes. Falling on the long chair. On third down, Winston. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 28. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. On first, here's Washington. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. Now a second down throw for Winston. And his throw is incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just run around the game. Drop pass. But this is why they call running backs and not catching backs. From the shotgun, it's Winston. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage here on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Winston to the sideline here on fourth down and Will Lutz gets set for a New Orleans field goal try. This from 44 yards out, left hash. 
The kick by Lutz is good, and they have regained the lead. So a response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think he'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. And they're going to have good starting field position. He's out of bounds, but not before he's across the 35. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Following the interception, Winston. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Up the middle they go, Washington. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. And they started to get the ball in the ground in the first half. That's sort of continuing here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe they'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Jameis to throw it. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. It's Joshua Williams with a pick. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. And he comes up with the interception there. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get to field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. And here's a handoff out of the gun. Breaks a tackle now with Alley. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. This is caught. Touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. A touchdown on a kick return and now run through the air. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swim. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Washington now out of the gun. And he's got room. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Now on first down, it's Washington again. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 54 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. 
to throw. Winston. Drives it left side and finds a lobby. Touchdown, Saints! Chris Olave, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Winston to throw for it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us, because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. The sack coming from defensive end Cameron Jordan. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Looking for Kelsey on the deep ball. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Alante Taylor. And the Saints are going to take over at their own 41. I'm not sure I'm absolutely crazy about that play call there. I mean, it's only a one-score game, so is it really time to go bombs away and try and make a big play? I think you can take some underneath stuff and still move it downfield. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Winston. And that will be incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Winston to throw for it on four. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. Well, you think about it, though, that interception, great for his stats, but bad for field position. It was fourth down. Yeah, terrific observation. If there is going to be a silver lining, and this is where they'll plead when it comes time to watch it again, hey, it was just like a punt, right? So we end up taking possession of the ball. But you're exactly right about it. Should have slapped it down. Field position would be better for his offense. But how many times do you get a chance to make an interception that you turn it down? That's when your instinct kicks in and you take the football. In this case, a better decision would have been to knock the ball down. And he'll get this to the 22. So they begin the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. 
And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. And he picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as a stop with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Right back to him on first down. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. The last run got six, now second and four. Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 31-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down and whistles and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. Everything right now resting on the right foot of Harrison Butker. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This from 51 yards for the win. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter. So to get them into the play, 